has three benefits. One, of course, is a return for the limited partners who are big companies in our region. So they want a financial return, of course, we're accountable for that. Number two, though, is again, exposure of those funds to our startups. And we need that, right? We need that exposure, we need that engagement, we need that education, and potentially their investment, that's number two. But number three, those funds sit on very powerful capability that our companies here, we have 120 mm -hmm. big co's, big companies, either CBC, CRBC, or otherwise, that are looking for innovation, technology innovation, to further their growth. Either make their growth more efficient, make their growth more effective, or pursue white spaces or new business models. So underneath these funded funds are companies that could potentially provide that. So those three benefits, to be very direct, we haven't even begun to claw into that yet, okay. right? Because we're only in our second year. Yeah. So given what I'm seeing after 120 days and what team, Tim knows for sure, we need to think about the future now, mm -hmm. right? It's what good people, smart people do. Think about the future now and see if we can begin to socialize an idea of our second fund that we would call a syndicate fund, okay. right? Because that would support Cincy Tech and Queen City and other investors here when they need others at the table with them. Okay. So it's a different way to frame it when you're talking about a syndicate fund. That means something different from pe to people outside the region yeah. because fund of funds has a certain perception that's not as current and relevant as syndicate funds. So we're gonna reposition it, just the naming of it, to encourage others to see our region in a more vibrant and exciting way.